Welcome to Magic Visions Gaming Central. Justin here, where we cover video games and talk gaming. And we are going to be talking about a demo that is now available on Steam, which is called We Harvest Shadows. It's a first person farmer horror allegory becoming a recluse. Build your farm and survive the lonely nights. Here's a little bit more details on the game. From the creator of the first tree comes We Harvest Shadows, an emotional first-person narrative game with farming and horror elements. Players take control of Garrett, a transplant from New York City who has exiled himself to an abandoned farm for the rest of his life. He thinks the world is better without him in it. Each day brings a new to-do list. Players will fix up their homes, care for livestock, and improve their farmstead, all while exploring the hundred of acres surrounding the farm. But in the quiet of the lonely night, something stirs. Is Garrett truly alone or is something stalking him from the shadows? Taking inspiration from the slow burn PT style psychological horror and Edith Finch style per, uh, person, first person style titles. The game plays on horror themes to gradually imagine a terrifying vision that Garrett must save himself from until the soul shaking end. This was one hell of a demo. I really did enjoy this one. One one thing I did like about this is like the synopsis says, it's a slow burn, but it's a slow burn that builds on tension. And this is how horror is always supposed to be in my eyes. It's supposed to constantly build tension after tension, after tension, after tension. And this one does it day by day by day by day. And I like the fact that we're getting a unique premise here of actual farming. Like there's farm games out there like on my other channel Tacos and Geeks, I just reviewed Sunnyside, which is a nice relaxing anime style farm game, but here you have farming, it has like a farming sim, you have some elements with your to-do list, but then there's that horror elements when things come out at night. And when night falls, you need to make sure that you're in your bed. Or make sure that your to-do list is completely done. And that's one thing I like about this is that it it builds this tension because you don't know whether it's because of Garrett's mental state. You know, it, he wants to self-isolate himself from the world. So obviously someone who wants to self-isolate, they might not be in the best mental state. You know, not wanting to be around people, or he could just be an introvert that just doesn't want to be around, you know. But in this particular case, with this particular character, he does not want to be around anybody. And that plays a key role into his mental state as the isolation grows a little bit more, especially with the creepy horror atmosphere. I thought the gameplay was pretty solid, it wasn't hard to do the to do list. Like, there's a lot of farming sims that really are very complex and intricate anyone can pick this up and just follow the to-do list and you'll be fine sometimes you have to chop wood you have to water your tomatoes you know you buy a chicken coop you buy a chicken and you pick the eggs and you put it in the trailer and that's how you'll get your money so i really did enjoy the gameplay aspect of it I, i'm actually going to be looking forward to when it drops Graphically, I thought the graphics was great. They have some really great lighting, especially when the sunset and the sun rises. There's some really beautiful shots in here that I was just like, wow, this is just from an indie developer. One person, one person team did this. It's great. As far as the horror aspect goes, yeah, yeah, it's there. It's good. It, it does good. It's not like jump scare. It's not like jump scare heavy all the time. But when the scares and the jump scare does happen, it's paid off. The tension is built and it's so subtle. It's not like when you hear this loud music. No, it's literally like you hear a voice. And you turn around and the guy's looking at you and, you're, and then he just disappears. And you're like, oh, OK. It's little nuances like that. that I'm just like, OK, now this is the horror that I like. This is the type of buildup that I look for in my horror games. And I thought they did a really good job of really 
making sure we feel not only for Garrett, but we feel for what he's going through. And the setting really helps. Like a, 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 horror, a horror game in a farm setting, it's, it's not really done often. So it's nice to see new loca- new locations that we're getting in these in these horror games. And overall, folks, if you have Steam, definitely check out We Harvest the Shadows demo. I absolutely loved it. It is nerve wracking. It has some really good suspense, some really good build up. I really like the characters. Um, of course, I'm biased. I'm a New Yorker, so I do like the fact that Garrett's from New York, and they actually have this particular scene of him on the Brooklyn Bridge, and it's it's so cool. I really did enjoy this one, so I'm going to give this a recommendation of, yeah, go download this. Check this one out. This is Justin from MatchesToVisions.com. If you like what we do here, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. More stuff is on the way. I have some book reviews coming. I have some comic book reviews coming. I have more gaming reviews, some screeners, a whole lot coming. And, of course, Faye and Jay podcast will continue. We are going to be filming later this week. So thank you for all your support. Peace, love, and happiness. And if you want to check out my other channel, you can check out Old Tacos and Geeks as well, where I do anime reviews there. I do interviews there. I do a whole bunch of stuff on ONG. So check that out as well. Later days. Catch you on the next one.